Just going to check and see if I'm getting some kind of audio here. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm going to be talking about this update. <laughs> and uh, just going to wait. I'm going to give a few more seconds for some more people to come in here. I'm sure this is going to be a, a, a big issue or a big uh, topic. I know there are uh, a different, uh, a few different menus now. One, I wanted to go over on the Akai Force. Whenever you're on the Akai Force and you want to update it or go into update mode, you just hit menu. You can hit menu twice or whatever. And uh, right here it says reset or legal info. You're just going to hold down shift and smash that update button on the, on the screen. And once it's connected with the blue wire and you're in computer mode, it does the rest for you. And um, <laughs> only thing that it did was add a little uh, splice account thing now now you can log into splice which if you guys have gotten into splice more power to you but i just i, I see it being utilized splice being utilized a little more of course in the npc but it's awesome that you can use it on both of these now and you can just get your loops and everything like that they also have like a, a record export so i was like Oh, dude, they got a, a way to save the song. And it's the same way that I showed how to do it earlier. It was save it as a sample and then whatever you get. And maybe I'm wrong. You know, I just saw this and I was like, okay, what if I have this here and I hit the save folder? It says... You can't read it because I'm using a crap camera, and I just had to get this out, man. Uh, it says new, save, save as, purge. On the MPC, which they just did an update to 2.5, 2.5, it just fixed some bugs that 2.4 had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, there are some cool features like syncing up... Uh, uh, your sequence samples or like some dude is asking me earlier uh, how to take your samples and sync them. Well, now you can just go in here to your samples and they'll auto warp so you don't have to sit there and auto warp. You, you know what I mean? It goes through them in time so you can hear how they sound. There's a dude uh has a video on it. I was just checking it out. Um, it's a Kai Pro video mpc lounge 2.5 update overview and he goes over that whole see that whole thing if you need to do that check that out where you can sync up your samples and all that it was pretty dope but uh i was one bug that i was having was in song mode and it didn't happen to everybody one thing that was happening to me was it would go from sequence one to sequence three to sequence five, it wouldn't play any other. Uh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't play any other sequences like that. And that, maybe that was just me. I know there was a lot of other uh, sampling pad issues where it wouldn't play the sample unless you assign it. If you look at the forms, there was a ton of bugs, but they only addressed three of them. But uh, I haven't even checked out the song mode yet to see because that crippled me, man, when I couldn't just make a song on the fly like that. It, it crippled me. So now when you go here to the folder, the same folder that's on here because it's the same, dude. Uh, new, save, save as, purge, and then export. Like they couldn't put export on here. It's the same button, same software. Export as what? As WAV, as AIFF, as MP3, as OGG, as FLAC. This here, when you go to save, and let's go here. Where are we going to go? It says 
Let's see. We're going to hit the save button. You can't see it, but I'm telling you. You can hit the save button, and then it gives you project, project as, project as just gives you the name of it. And hit save. Darn you. As track. Okay. So you can save it as a track. What kind of track? Okay. Same thing over here. Save as. They give you the same name option as save as what? Save as track? What is that? So when you hit the gear on both of these, which is under preferences, you hit menu in the little gear. It says record export. All right. Record export. Now this says audio export track. MIDI export track. I don't know that was there before, but I'm pretty sure because audio export as a program, audio export as a master, audio export as a track. That means I can, does that track go to this track? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I swear that wasn't in there before. Maybe, maybe it's not just me. I'm not reading these comments. My bad, guys. I don't even know if this is even on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, so what they were going over was the splice. If you got a splice account, and what I mean by these two being the same screen and everything, it says splice general record export. Splice general record export. All the way up. The same freaking thing. Even when you hit Bluetooth, it says the same message pops up. Why could they not have put the export as or a, a song mode in in I mean yeah you can sample it under one thing yeah that's cool you just you, this is how you would do it you would save your song on the Kai Force like this you go to sampler and you set your your time for like freaking two minutes or three minutes however long you want it and then you go through and launch your clips as a resample and then you save that as a track it's like dude i don't want to save it as and then do what have to put it into my mpc to save it as an mp3 it's ridiculous but uh there are a lot of good videos about the 2.5 and how you can sync it like that one that i mentioned earlier um the mpc lounge upgrade overview probably does a lot better job than i'm gonna do i just busted out a camera and had to go man i tried to set up my uh camera here and it does not have an audio in and i cannot <laughs> cannot find a way to hook it up to um, obs studio but i love the freaking camera so um i might have to get me another one here real soon that works with this this way when something like this pops up man i want you guys to be able to see what's going on and not just see me talk about it but that's what it is man and it really doesn't do like like the only thing that they did they added splice which is dope i mean if you're in a splice i mean that's dope and then over here under the gear they added splice which is you know how it's dope but this audio export, record export, this says bounce extract bit depth, recording bit depth. All right. I mean, yeah, we know that, but where is it going to be extracting it as a track, as a program to put, I mean, I guess to call up. Okay. I'm sorry. You're going to end up calling up that program later on, or you're going to end up calling up that track later on. But, dude, what if you want to make a whole full song? I don't think that they're leaning towards a whole song on this thing at all. I really don't. And like I mentioned earlier, I don't even think that they're 
I don't think that they're going to be uh, – what's up with Ableton, man? Ableton was supposed to be an update like that. Did they have that on there? Uh, this would be a good test because uh, before I couldn't get these two to sync up Ableton link. I have this one Ableton link, and I have this one Ableton link. And they're both running off the same Wi-Fi. And you can see that there's no, no sync. So that's a bug right there, right? I mean, I can show you straight up. Watch, I'll show you this screen. What was I going to show you? Yeah, the Ableton. Well, if I pull that up, if I pull up the software, the Ableton link software, and I hit that link, it goes two items linked. And then these things start synchronizing. I don't need no wires or nothing. Why can't I do that in standalone? That's a bug. How are you going to fix that bug? You know? Uh, and then the Bluetooth. What does it think of like, well, yeah, a keyboard or like a QWERTY keyboard, like a typing keyboard or other Bluetooth devices? I'll be damned if this one here is the MPC is the Bluetooth device, man, or MIDI device, which it does nothing either. So, I mean, you can control this and this, but I haven't been able to assign the Q links to any of the, uh, things over here i love the box though man don't get me wrong but that's all i've really noticed on here i mean i do have the akai uh force and everything like that but right off the bat for my first video man on the 2.5 i don't know just by looking at it i'm kind of like mm, i don't know doesn't look like they did too much but i know that under sample edit. Mm, functions. They got time stretch now under there. Pitch shift. That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, is that what? Reverse time stretch. They got some cool stuff on the functions. I haven't gone through all of them. You know what I'm saying? But when I first turned it on and I'm like being, it was like audio export track, track. Like, okay, this is gonna be a little bit different. And then the whole freaking Akai website has been overall, let me show you, look. I was just like, what a freaking mess, dude. I didn't know where to get the download or where to get the update from. So where are we here? Let's go. All right, cool. So, I don't even know where to start. <clears throat> all right, so you got all, well, I got all these different ones here. Yeah, sure, you can use those. But, um, yeah, dude. You go up here, you log into your thing, and it's like everything's so freaking crammed together, you don't even know, but all the way at the bottom of the freaking page. Yeah, dude, the whole MIDI in and out. That is crazy. But, um, yeah, there's a whole workaround on that. You can get, you can, you can figure that out. Uh, but the Force Firmware Update 3.0.2 is the last thing on the list. I'm like, you figure they put that up on the front, like up on the, uh, all the way up at the top. But um, yeah, guys, there's tons of stuff here. I need to figure out how to stop sharing right now. But yeah, don't. Don't get me wrong, there is going to be some more cool stuff. And I'm just scratching the surface on it. But for, for me to turn it on and be like, oh, okay, I needed this to happen and that to happen without me turning on my computer, you know, I think if I set a Wi Fi, I'm in my, in my studio, dude. I have all my networks linked up and they just won't drive for some reason. But, and that's the only problem I've had 
And I was hoping that this would fix that. But I'm going to keep messing with it. And so far, I think the um, the 2.4 update with all the effects and all the GUI and everything like that was super, super cool. But it messed up my song mode. It didn't mess up everybody else's. Uh, and the 2.5 is supposed to fix 2.4. That being said, 2.3 was the ultimate. It ran so smooth, man, but it just didn't have the GUI interface and everything like that. Now, with the Force, I mean, those are the only updates, and I haven't really read too much on the manual, but I don't sit and preach about it all day, but, um, boy, I could. And... Uh, like I said, I had a long day. I appreciate you uh, all for coming in here and watching. I had somebody comment uh, uh, about it was something cool, man. He said it was about uh, you can tell people stuff about music, but if they just don't, something about music. And it was it was really dope, but I forgot right on. And uh, other than that. I'm going to close it out, man. I'm going to try to make a song on here. I don't want to do it in this. I'm actually using a, I have no idea how this sounds. It's, oh, I don't even, I've never used this mic or camera before on my, my thing like this. So I don't want you to see me like this, <laughs> but uh, for real, you guys, if you see anything that's cool with the update or anything, and you want to put that in the post, that would really be cool, and uh, I'm curious about it, too. But for right now, that's all I really got. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I will holler at you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.